right guys welcome to a new video and this this is a, probably one of the most epic ones i'm so excited to be doing this video so as you guys may know that um, ai generated art has gone viral it's such a popular thing and uh, everybody's doing it um, and what i wanted to do is just do a video today where i walk you through how i create a an ai generated art piece through mid journey so mid journey is one of the ai websites that you can use there's there's many out there but um i like this one and we're going to use this one today so all right so you can see i'm on the mid journey website and you can join the beta version but i went and bought a subscription and I've already signed in and then it what it does is at it adds mid journey to your discord and this is where you physically generate your images um, what I also want to show you okay so once you've signed in on the website you've got your profile and every single image that you generate will be stored um yeah it will be stored on your profile and you can go back and view it now these images are visible to everybody um there's no way to have it private i think unless you buy a uh, like a corporate subscription or something like like a business uh premium plan but unless you don't these if you don't these images are visible to everybody that um that uses the website so yeah you've got these uh so yes that's the gist of it these if you go up here to let's go to her community feed uh, this is then you can click on hot and this is probably like the top rated AI generated art there is at the moment and look at the look at this incredible credible like imagery like a real artist would probably spend hours if not days creating something like this that's so detailed and this program and this AI just generates it in a few seconds or like a few minutes which is pretty incredible and it's all using prompts like keywords and i'll show you in a minute um now yes obviously being a designer myself i am concerned that this exists because it's incredible and you know you kind of worry for your future are we going to have a future you know as designers as artists but you know what until that happens let's just <laughs> jump in and see what we can do and what we can create with this website and um, at the end of the day i think you know we have to learn the program and we have to control the program and use it to better ourselves and better our art and our offering to our clients and stuff like that instead of the ai or the website controlling us so you know, there is a video, I don't know if you guys know about Ross Draws or Ross Tran. If you watch one of his AI videos, uh, where he also uses AI generated art, a uh, website, he says that it can be a powerful tool for an artist. Uh, if you're working in concept art, or you need to come up with an idea really, really quickly, and you can take that image afterwards and put it into Photoshop or Illustrator, and then you can refine it. Uh, so it's a, it's a great, you know, piece or, or tool to come up with ideas as well. Because from what I've seen here currently, it's it's not always perfect and it won't always give you exactly what you want. But it does create some incredible and some stunning visuals. For instance, look at this. Look at this Dragon Ball Z thing. I mean, can you imagine printing that out on a piece of fabric and hanging it? That's stunning. Look how trippy this is. I mean, some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful art. I mean, this is just gorgeous. And this is the prompt they use. They say, 
the last ray of light in the universe. And this is what AI created. This is what AI thinks the last ray in the universe looks like. And this is beautiful. And so how it works obviously is AI, when you use keywords and prompts, it goes and it searches, you know, it's got a database and it goes online and it searches millions of images and references and it uses what it learns from, from those images, from the keywords, and it generates something brand new that does not exist, that has never been created before. I mean, there's some, I mean, I can look at this stuff all day long. It is so beautiful. And you can do everything from sci-fi, fantasy, different art styles, uh, realistic 3D concept. It's just never, never ending. And the better you understand how to insert the keywords and how to phrase things, the better the art will be. You know, the more you can give the, 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 the program, the better it will learn and the more it will understand. And so that's what we're going to be trying today is we're going to try and create something from scratch. And I'm going to show you guys. And uh, what I also want is, you know, guys, in the comment section, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to try and do two of these kinds of videos a week where I generate random art, maybe three pieces per video. So it'd be great if you guys leave a comment in the comment section suggesting what you think we should try and create. And so we can do that in the next video. But until then, wow, look at this. Look, just like I have no words. This is so beautiful. God's throne in middle of beautiful heaven with angels of light surrounding the throne. Like how gorgeous. Like this, this is giving me goosebumps. Absolutely stunning. I could easily print just hundreds of these and put them on my wall. Okay. I'm going to be ending up staring at this all day. So let's physically try and generate something. Now, I have just started with this program. Um, so I am still very new and I'm still learning. So we, we're going to try one or two things and see, see how it goes. So I've already thought of uh, one idea that I wanted to try and we're going to do that now. So the first thing we want to do is, uh, how it works is you can just, you write the prompts out here in the message box, press enter, and, um, it will generate the arts and then we can take it from there. So first thing we need to do is go forward slash imagine that's how you start it off and then you add your keywords in yeah you tell the program what you wanted to imagine or wanted to design so what i and just i apologize up front for for any spelling mistakes um yeah i'm not the greatest at spelling so we will figure it out but what i want to see is what if Lamborghini designed or had the chance to design an F-35 style futuristic fighter jet for the US military. Now, I think that could look very, very interesting. And we, I want to see what um, I can kind of see in my mind what it would look like. But I would love to see what AI thinks it would look like. So, all right, let's, let's try and figure this out. So the first thing I'm going to say is, imagine a Lamborghini, I think that's how you spell it, designed an futuristic F-35 style jet so oopsie i made a mistake there uh jet for the u.s air force so maybe let's say u.s air force to make it easier to understand all right uh, lamborghini designed a futuristic f-35 style jet for uh, let's say fighter jet fighter jet 
for the US Air Force. And then we're going to say comma. We're going to add here um, hyper realistic because we want it to look realistic. We want hyper detailed. Detailed. Um, what else can we add yet? Uh, right, yeah, let's maybe just work on that for now. I'm going to say 4K. And I am going to add a ratio of 16. Okay, so yeah, Lamborghini designed a futuristic... F-35 style fighter jet for the US Air Force, hyper-realistic, extremely detailed 4K and ratio. Let's see what happens. All right, now it's going to take a few minutes to create the art. Um, I think I got the ratio thing wrong. Um, so we might have to work, I might have to just figure out how you change the ratio so while that is so you can see it is busy thinking and it is generating the art so it's uh, currently 50 percent so we'll wait and we'll have a look and see what um what it looks like before we go and change the ratio It's coming along nicely. It's already looking really good, I can see. All right, so let's have a look here. Like, this is pretty cool looking. Uh, let's be honest. <laughs> it's already just blowing my mind. But before we do that, I need to figure out quickly how we change the ratios. Um, so let's look here. Uh, parameters. Stylized quality values, um, basic commands, quality values. Yeah, I don't know. Let's click there. What I uh, uh, what I find easiest usually is oh, aspect ratio. You see dash dash ar. We should. I think we should have said that. And what you can do as well is um, you can always click on someone else's image and you can go and see um, so if you go to your discord and you go to mid journey and we go have a look at other people's art right then we can see how they adjust their aspect ratios and uh, so this guy says, okay, 8K dash, okay, dash, dash, aspect ratio, and then you insert that. So let's try that. Um, yeah, this is very, very, <laughs> see how much information this guy put here. And look at this really, really cool piece of art. So let's say dash, dash, AR. All right, so let's try that. So we go back to our private chat. And we're going to just copy this information. We're going to try this again, right? So we're going to paste it in there. And we just say dash imagine. So, okay, let's start by saying forward slash imagine. Then paste that in there. And here we're supposed to say dash dash a r. All right, uh, yeah, let's try that. I think this might work, so let's give it a shot. Let it think. I really hope this works now because AR dash dash AR. Let's just go back. And double check, right? So dash dash AR space. 
maybe we were supposed to do that and not put a space. Because what I did is I put a space there, which probably shouldn't have been. Um, so we're just going to have to try and fix that. One last time. Ow! Sorry, just bumped my knee. Alright, let's <laughs> try this one more time. Uh, so I'm going to copy this. So I hope this works this time. So we're going to say imagine, paste, and remove. If this doesn't work, we'll just go with, with, with this um, aspect ratio. Alright, so it's loading... So every time you enter, oh yes, it worked. Okay, so every time you enter, it generates something new from scratch, right? So no two will ever look the same. See how this all looks different. And I use the same keywords, which is pretty, pretty fantastic. Now I'm gonna let it load out. We've got uh, on 32%. Just give it some time to think, and then we'll take it from there and we'll refine it down. I should have added, um, you know, like put Lamborghini badge there or something. But what's cool about this is after you've generated the art, you can always save it, put it in Photoshop, and then add like additional changes and details, which is very, very cool. So, you know, you don't have to let the software do everything because it, it probably can't. Uh, you can always go and add extra details. All right, so it's generated. Let's have a look here. So it it's looking very, very, very cool. I must be honest, I'm liking it. The only thing that bothers me a little bit is it doesn't look very aerodynamic. <laughs> so, like, I kind of like this one. It kind of almost has an F35 shape. Uh... This doesn't really make sense. This doesn't make sense. So let's think. What are we going to do? Um, so because I kind of really liked what it did over here and over here. So if we don't like what it made, we can always refresh and it will generate a new set of images. But maybe we need to play with the keywords a little bit. So Lamborghini designed a futuristic F-35 style fighter jet for the US Air Force. Hyper realistic, extremely detailed. Um, so let's take this and we'll, we'll play with the ideas a little bit. So we're going to paste that to uh, extremely detailed, comma, uh, maybe say cin cinematic. Man, I my spelling is atrocious. Uh, cinematic. Uh, maybe octane render. Um, realistic. Aerodynamic. Um, and then maybe we can say yellow and black, yellow and dark gray. And then maybe we can say in orbit with Earth in the bottom left hand corner. Uh, maybe not in orbit, maybe in space, I guess. Uh, in space. 
space with earth okay let's try this let's see what happens um maybe we can say add lamborghini badge for the u.s air force uh designed a futuristic f-35 style fighter jet with Lamborghini badge on it. All right, let's try this. I have a feeling this is going to be a good one. And enter. I'm pretty excited. Okay. Woo! Man, this, this program or this whatever i don't know program or website whatever you want to call it is so addictive you just can't get enough i can spend hours and hours on you creating you know just trying different things using different words and styles and see like trying to see what um what this program comes up with um so it's it's very exciting it's very interesting so um i'm not sure if it's if it quite got the idea that I had with, uh, you know, space in the background, but it is not finished yet, not finished yet, so let's, let's wait, let's have a look-see, um, and that's kind of cool, that's also pretty cool, All right, let's have a look. <laughs> I, I'm not quite sure what I'm looking at here. So it look, looks like it tried to do some sort of profile shot here uh, from the side. Um, it's got some sort of landscape in the background, but not quite. This is almost kind of cool, but the ratios and push proportions are out this is very cool but you have no idea what you're looking at here um so we we might have to remove the lamborghini badge situation so it's all about refining you know you 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 really have to play around with it and try and, and refine it to get something really cool fighter jet with okay fighter jet Let's just say fighter jet for the U.S. Air Force. Hyper-realistic, okay. Um, in space. So maybe we should just take out this. In space. Yeah. All right, so Lamborghini does designed a futuristic f-35 style fighter jet for the u.s air force hyper realistic extremely detailed cinematic uh i'm gonna take out cinematic let's put some room lighting that could be cool 4k okay this is going to be the last one. Let's generate this, see what it looks like. And then, uh, yeah. And then we can move on to upscaling and generating different versions as well. So it's still busy. And we might have a winner here. I'm hoping. Probably should have said like correct uh, jet proportions or something like that. But you know what? It's futuristic. So who knows? You know, <laughs> they could have uh, come up with some sort of new technology, flight propulsion technology that doesn't need a jet to be proportional like symmetrical i'm kind of liking what i'm seeing down here this is very interesting so all right okay let's have a look okay 
Das is interesting. <laughs> uh, it's not quite getting what I want. Um, geez, I don't actually know. We might have to add with symmetrical proportions. All right, let's try one more time. <laughs> you guys are probably getting super annoyed with me, but um, yeah, it's all about figuring out the process. So let's go here to, I'm gonna remove octane render, right? I That was not necessary. Uh, here we can say, symmetrical proportions and I spelt it incorrectly all right um oh wait I almost forgot we have to say imagine first so let's imagine this and um Maybe we can say uh, realistic details and symmetrical proportions. Uh, US Air Force. Per, uh, yeah, let's just let's just see. Let's see where we go, where we get with this. Could be very interesting. This is absolutely for sure the last one I'm going to generate, and then we can refine it from here. Otherwise, we will be here all day. I really kind of liked these first options. Um, yeah, so I guess I could have just copied this and changed, fixed the aspect ratio. But I really also like the implementation of the yellow all right it's gonna take a while it's on 60 percent come on let it be a winner give it a winner let it be a winner Hey, let's see here. My goodness, <laughs> I don't know. Oh no, this is getting worse. It's getting worse, guys. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Okay, I feel like I've messed this up completely. So, uh, room lighting, 4K AR. So, I really like these first ones. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this and we're gonna just use that because it kind of worked. So imagine uh, don't forget now to put aspect ratio 16 by 9 space right so I think that's correct uh, dash dash okay uh guys please don't unsubscribe because i said that this would be the last one and now it wasn't i apologize it's just i needed to, uh, i wanted to look good like like these first ones were perfect look at that that is a stunning shot looks like it's on a runway with some reflections and sunlight um but and then it just got worse still looks very very cool but it just kind of got worse uh, yeah, so <laughs> let's hope, I really hope that, um, this will be the one. Cause yeah, I can't spend much more time on this thing. So it's, it's going to have to be the one. If not, we can always just go, if we don't like this, what it's making here, we can just go up here and just continue with this. It's on 83%. Come on, buddy. You can do it. You can do it. Think about it. All right. Let's have a look. So. <laughs> oh, 
No, it's not working. It's not working. What is happening? Okay, I am abandoning this one. I'm going back here. I'm going to choose these two. Okay, so that would be... Um, so if you've got one, two, three, four, and that's one, two, three, four. And so you can upscale that, which will just add more detail, or you can choose which version you want multiple options of. So what I want to do is, I think I want option version two. Let's have a look at this. No, no. So version, maybe this is pretty cool. Like that one's pretty cool. All right, so we want version one, two, three, version three. And over here, we want version four. And so what it's going to do is generate four more options of that, the one we liked. All right, until we kind of get something that we enjoy. Now, would I guess it could be cool if we added in like sunset sky or something like that. But it is all about, you know, playing around with the ideas until you get something you like and something that could work. Uh, so that's interesting. Like how this looks cool. It looks like it's hovering. Um. Over here, I am not quite seeing something. So I'm going to ask it to redo this one. And over here, I'm going to choose. I really like those reflections. I think I'm going to choose. I want to do upscale version 2. Right, so. Upscale version 2. Let it think. All right, so these are the ones that I asked it to regenerate. And this is looking a lot better. Um, the other one is still busy, waiting to start. So let's give it a moment. I think let's choose one here to upscale. So let's have a look-see. This one's very, very cool. I am liking this. And it's, oh, it's, uh, it's still going, obviously. Um, I quite... All right, let's have a looky. So this is looking interesting. Um, I like this. I just don't like this background. But what you could always do is just cut this out and place it on, I don't know, a different kind of background. Like you can draw your own background, which is pretty cool. Um, so you can make variations of this one. You can upscale to max quality. What is this quality? Uh, it's not too bad. Um, so what I would do here is I would probably cut this in half and just flip one side to the other side. That'll give it that symmetrical fighter jet shape, which is what you would want. Um, let's do one more. Let's go here. Let's choose. Which one are we going to choose here? Let's choose maybe number two. So we will like number two. Let it generate... That one. Mm 
All right, so oh, it's still busy. It's only on 30%. I'm already kind of liking what's happening here. Uh, what we can do here as well is we can say we can light upscale redo. So it will upscale it with not as much detail, right? So like if you didn't want as much detail, you can say let's redo it with a little less detail. Um, and then here you can make different variations until you like the one, you, you know, that you like. So I'm... Um, I'm really liking this. Uh, this is coming out quite nicely. Uh, let's say make some variations of this one. But yeah, like I said, this it's very easy to sit and do this all day because it's just so much fun. Now that is looking awesome. Wow, now we're talking. Look how epic this is. I love this. Love it. So, I love this as well. This looks amazing. Um, so, light upscale, redo. Uh, no, I like this. So, also now what you can do is... Um, I like this. I like, the problem is like, I love all of these. This is terrible. But, uh, so if you go to your profile, right? So, <clears throat> now this should technically would have stored all of your designs and you can, you can download them. You can click on that. And say, you know what, I want to save this to my computer. And then you can open it. And you can use it, you know, you can cut it out, use it, print it, whatever you want to do. So it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so... That's it. That's it for this episode. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like, you know... Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Please support this channel. I'd really appreciate it. And yeah, this is pretty cool. Let me let me know what you guys think in the comment section and what you think we should create next time. But I am in love with this and I'm going to be playing around with it for quite a while. I will also be posting these on my Instagram page and you can find the link to that on the top of my, uh, you know, cover page on the bottom right hand corner. There's a link to my Instagram where I will be posting these as well. Cool. Thanks, guys. I will see you next time.